Castles up here then, is it? <laughs> there it is, it's just the turret there, isn't it? So this is Bromley's Castle in Powys. Um, in its long history, Bromley's Castle has been altered, adjusted and adapted. It is thought that the Norman Lord Richard Fitzpons first built a timber mott and bailey castle here in the late 11th century. He did it to hold land captured from the Welsh. Timber castles were replaced with stone to protect them from fire and by 1165 parts of Bromley's had been rebuilt. We know this because ironically fall in masonry killed the Lord of Bromley's youngest son when the castle caught fire. What we see today was started by Clifford William de Clifford III in around 1230. It's typical of castles found in this part of Wales. The top floor, added in the 14th century, provided a very comfortable room to live in. Owen Condor's uprising prompted repairs to the castle in 1400 and 1409, but by 1521 the castle had been become dilapidated and considered only good enough to be a prison. Let's have a look at here. Oh. Castle, what's left of the castle. <laughs> Good exercise. <laughs> If I don't drop my phone now, I'd be in a mess with my... <laughs> Fifteenth century, there was uh, living accommodation up there. Bromley's oh. Castle. It's a reconstruction of what it would have looked like. Oh, there's more steps. Oh. a long way down. Wow. Yeah. View from the window. Or the uh, what's left of the window. Whew. Wow. Is... I am out of shape. <laughs> Gorgeous view. Look at that. What's that mountain over there? Is that? Oh, sure. yeah. I'm sure a volcano. <laughs> Looks like a volcano. It's all the way down there. So. Wow. Castle there. 
So the third floor was added in the uh, 1300s. So. Nice up here, it's nice and cool. <laughs> so, yeah. What's that down there? It looks like caravans. Yeah, it's caravans. It's caravans.